Um, you know, we are uh, obviously paying a lot of attention. I mean, I know you are. We are clearly uh, to uh, the process ongoing uh, that that must, by necessity, result in some sort of compromise, so that we do not, for the first time in our history, uh, lose our borrowing authority and risk default. The president made clear the other night that the way to do that is to reach a compromise. Uh, we, still, we still firmly believe that a compromise is essential and possible. Congress needs to take action. We have been uh, intensely engaged in negotiations and conversations and proposals and counterproposals with Congress at a variety of different levels. The talks led by the Vice President the private conversations and negotiations that the President had with the Speaker of the House. We have continued even since the Speaker of the House walked away from those, uh, from that potential compromise last Friday, we've continued to have conversations with, uh, at, at all levels, with uh, Democrats, Republicans, principals, and staffers uh, in search of a solution to this problem that's balanced and fair. Uh, we continue to this day and to this hour to do just that. Time's running out. We need to come together now. We have uh, only, it is only a matter of days before uh, the August 2nd deadline. And while at midnight on August 2nd we don't all turn into pumpkins, we do, as a country, lose our borrowing authority for the first time in our history. And that would be a very bad thing. You Among the many obligations we have, the 80 million checks at the Treasury Department alone issues, payments that it issues every month, of the 1.2 billion payments the federal government makes in a year. Those include veterans payments, social security payments, disability payments. They include uh, the bills to contractors, small businesses, big businesses that do uh, work with the government, the, Korea, the people who manufacture the ammunition that we send to our troops in Afghanistan. And choices then have to be made. And it's a Sophie's choice, right? Who do you save? Who do you pay? That's an impossible situation that this country has never faced and should never face if Congress does what it was elected to do and does its job.